Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of That's All Funny, episode number, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh, 684, uh, another day, another dollop, Daisy, we're just here chilling, uh, I just woke up, I just woke up looking like this, I just woke up looking like this, um, no, just here chilling, trying to enjoy another day, uh, until... I work again, hopefully start soon, uh, trying to wheelie deely, steely, geely, and all that other, uh, crap, so, yeah, we're, we're just here chilling, um, <clears throat> that's about it, uh, I'm trying to think, I've been wanting to start a new Mass Effect playthrough, but I've just been, uh, you know, biblically lazy at doing anything, and, uh, I don't know. I just really need to. There's a lot I want to do. There's a lot I need to do, and I just haven't done it because I'm a piece of shit. And that's what the name. Wait, I'm trying to. Man, my mic stand was doing. And I was, you know, defecating, self-defecating myself. Depre. Uh, I'm having a stroke. Uh, anyways, let's look at the news here. We have some news. Um, let's see here. Uh, authorities arrested 14 people and rescued 10 victims, including a 16 year old, during an under undercover human trafficking sting at the San Diego Comic Con convention. I mean, hide your kids, hide your wife. Uh, they're just raping everyone out here, right? I don't know. You need to be careful. I know. <clears throat> when anywhere I take, I haven't really taken my niece anywhere, and she's 14, <laughs> but anywhere I take her, I keep, like, this rowdy eye on her, uh, even though she's old enough to defend herself and stuff, it's, I mean, she's never old enough, you know, to me, so yeah, uh, even at Comic-Con, they would have shit like this, Maybe even especially at Comic Con when people could just get lost and never be found again. But I don't know. It's crazy to think that there was a, you know, human trafficking there, and it was being done. You know, I don't know. They 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 could do a lot there. They could make men or women cosplay uh, without their consent and uh, sell comic books that are shit with no plot. And, you know, end up being sold behind the backbones of a international ministry. But um, there's really no point to that. Uh, what's the word? Trademark. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, a grift. Just a huge grift. So, yeah, that's, that's a bit of news that's been going on. Uh, next year... Uh, I could relate to this. Man gets prison for blowing up Philly ATMs with dynamite, hauling off $417,000. So that's pretty rowdy that a man's just been going and blowing up ATMs with dynamite and looting them. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't mind this. This is something I don't mind. It's a... Uh, you just got to be careful not to hurt anyone with collateral damage, which was a good movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm not I'm I'm fine with the wheelie dealy steely, uh, geely grift of it. And uh, yeah, for I don't know, four hundred thousand dollars doesn't sound like a lot coming from ATMs. It does. It sounds like a lot, but it doesn't sound like a lot to live off of. You know, like. Like the whole idea of like the movie blank check, where it's like, oh, a million dollars, wow, I can go crazy with this, and the money runs out like super quick. Uh, or that I think I was seeing a Mr. Beast video. I wasn't watching it, but I was watching one of those controversial Mr. Beast videos that they're having now, where it explains the controversy, and he had like a black kid spend a million dollars in like 24 hours and it really like fucked up the kid because uh and i say kid like he was young he was just probably like 20 years old but I, that's a kid to me 
but yeah, just having him having to spend a million dollars in less than a day is like uh, overwhelming because you're like, well, I want to have uh, financial security for my family. Oh no, uh, come on, Jimmy, help me out, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, we're gonna help you out, man. You're gonna be financially secured. And it's like, nope, he uh, he has no money now. I mean, maybe he has a house, but it's like, why don't you just sell it? Just sell it. You bought it for, well, I don't know. Maybe the interest rates are bad. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. All I know is Mr. Beast is probably not a good person, uh, but that was already my uh, assumption of him to begin with because I just don't trust people. Next year. On the news, here's hugs and a salute as three freed Americans back on U.S. soil after a historic prisoner swap with Russia. I'm glad we're doing prisoner swaps. It's always fun to trade. It's like almost like trading Pokemon, like like when you would trade a Haunter or a Kadabra, and it would evolve into an Alakazam or a Gengar. That's pretty fun. Um, I'm glad we're still trading with uh, Russia. I'm glad we're getting the humans freed from from Russia for their whatever case it may be. You know, I don't know who we're trading to them if we're trading them, you know, spies or drug dealers or arms dealers or what. But it's good to free up some of the Americans and bring them back to our side. And with no real like kind of like Brittany Griner, where it was like, oh, uh, you better because she's uh right you know that's racially motivated it's like whoa 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 calm down we're, we, we're trying to get everyone over here we're trying you know and then the sort of the whole, whole imbalance thing where we traded like a rowdy arms dealer for her instead of like and then we could have gotten like a a dude that was uh <laughs> you know his, who was like a, a army dude but we traded him for Brittany grinder i don't know there's a lot of like controversy surrounding why we trade who when we trade them and obviously that's a political thing it's a political move to win over voters or look better and to certain audiences and i get it i get it but it's still what's going on here do i need to ship something oh no i i i sold a nirvana hat uh somewhere and i'm i i know i need to ship it but it's not it's not reminding me about that anyways uh come as you are as you were as i want you to be every 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 you can see that i'm not even saying as a friend i'm saying just i'm just sounding them out you know but anyway I, i'm glad we're doing prisoner exchange still that's good that's always sweet to trade uh different people <laughs> for political gain or political reasons so yeah i know how chess is i don't play checkers like a uh, <clears throat> doctor disrespect i play i play chess i've never liked checkers Checkers is just boring to me. It's 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 a kids game. It's an old man old people's game. Uh, chess is fun, even though I'm not very good at it. I'm I'm pretty okay at it, but I don't think I could face like an expert or anything. I could just casually play it and uh, beat people. Linda, I could beat you, Linda. I've beaten you before, Linda, <laughs> many times, Linda. As long as I have my queen, because seventeen. The rise of a king and the fall of a queen. Oh, 17, 17. You held your me, 17. Lastly, here on the story, and this has been a big deal, second boxer embroiled in gender controversy wins Olympic match. So everyone's been pointing out that there's this boxer that uh, is a dude from I don't know what uh, I don't even think it says does it say here what what country they're from uh, Lynn you 
Ting of Taiwan defeated Satora Turtabakova of Uzbekistan uh, by unanimous decision in advance. The quarterfinals for victory follows Thursday's win by Algeria's Imain Khalif, whose gender identity has also come into question in recent days, prompting them social media firestorm. So it's this Algeria Imain Khalif. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I saw the pictures of that Imain Khalif. And I guess we could search here. Let me see. Your main belief. And there's gender controversy. And you know, you see pictures of this your main belief. And you know, first off, when you see it, it's when you see them, it's like, well, that looks like a man, man. You know what I mean? And I get it. I, I was gonna jump to that conclusion too, but then I remembered back in in um grade school i had a friend named katie who looked very boyish who was very tomboyish uh you could the only way you could tell she was a girl is uh because she told you she was a girl like that and her name was katie you know what can you do right some people were just born like like uh the lord the lord says they're born the way they are right they're born with more testosterone so you know they're they're showing pictures of this uh Imain Khalif as a kid and it's a girl and the testosterone built up and now she's manly you know uh but she's still a woman uh biologically so i guess anyways what i'm trying to get to with, with all the the routes i'm taking here to my destination is um sometimes you're born in a body like that you know sometimes like how men are born more feminine with little petite bodies because of the water we're drinking that's turning the frogs gay you have the opposite you have women that are born in highly testosterone bodies naturally and they can just dominate you know what i mean like that's why you have like almost like the female wrestlers that of course they look like uh, their bodies look very manly, but the face looks like uh, a woman too. But here, it's like the face looks like a man. But that's just our judging, you know what I mean? Because there's a, there's a lot of women that look ugly. If you want to say you're not into that, you know, which that's a lot of the argument here is like, oh, well, she's an ugly dude, and it's like, well, I mean, she's not a dude, but okay. But I don't know. Um, I could say that I didn't jump on this controversy because I was like, well, let me let me hear it out. Let me hear what they have to say about this, the people and everyone, Logan Paul, all these uh, political people, blah, 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 uh -uh. are jumping on it. Was, this is Biden's America. He wants women to dominate or men to dominate women's sports. And it's like, whoa, whoa, like, again, like, you could even look at, that gymnast Simon Biles, and yeah, she's got a a pretty face, you know, but her body is very uh wool, short five three Wolverine style, you know, like she looks like her body is pretty fucking manly, you know. Even her chest, she has like no chest because she just looks like a dude, right? Or, or just like pecs, you know. But I don't know. I don't know enough about enough about anything to otherwise just uh laugh at it <laughs> no i don't know i don't know anymore that's all funny guys uh i want to thank you for listening to the podcast that's all funny if there's one of the podcasts we we'll just search that's all funny i had a podcast with my buddy gabe called that's all kayfabe we're talking about wrestling check that out every mondays that's all kayfabe anywhere podcasts available i podcast with uh with the wonderful men salad called Tits and Areolas, where we talk about a movie, watch, play a little game. It's fun. She's hot on a piece of shit. Check that out. Tits and Areolas with Men Salad anywhere podcasts are available. If you want to see any of those podcasts in video format, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Areola. Uh, like and subscribe. Check that out. You can see them at the bottom and all that. If you want to donate to the cause, there's the PayPal, the Cash App, the Venmo. 
Uh, you can buy me coffee at Lorenzo or buymeacoffee.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Any uh, support is very much appreciated for the podcast. I do appreciate it. Uh, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash at Lorenzo. Uh, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, $5 a month gets you everything bonus episodes, early episodes, lead episodes, stuff like that. Uh, again, donations are appreciated. Uh, you want to hit up the artist who does all that for the show at Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for listening. Thank you, my subscribers. Take care.